So hey everyone. I am by the bay. Just chilling out, feeling really good. Having a good old great time right now. Yeah. It's so beautiful out here. I just love coming out here because it feels really, really good and I feel so at ease and peaceful. And yeah, I feel like it's important to find like whatever makes you feel like really, really good. When I come out here, my mind is like super cleared and I just have a great time. Just sit in here alone. <laughs> So let's talk about like repeated numbers like 11 11 and 2 2 2 like for me right now i'm seeing like 2 4 2 or 2 2 4 i don't know why i'm always seeing that number it's like i think it's a connection and plus where i well the country where i was born the area code is 242 so <laughs> i don't know what type of number connection that is but when i see like aligned numbers and things like that like repeated numbers i just use it as a sign that i am in alignment with my highest self and yeah basically i'm in alignment with the universe and everything like that so that is the meaning i give repeated numbers i know a lot of people have like their own like different meanings but yeah i believe that we choose what everything means in our reality so there isn't like any set meaning for things and i use that towards numbers as well so yeah when i see it i'm like oh yeah i'm doing a great job my vibration is high i'm in alignment everything is flowing well so yeah yeah so i believe that we communicate with ourselves and the universe uniquely and we create our signs how our signs and messages appear so that is just one of the things i wanted to talk about oh yeah guys so yesterday i did like yoga i think i'm back into yoga now <laughs> so i'm trying to do like the 30 day challenge with adrian but i'm not like super hard on myself like i have to do it like 30 days in a row so I did day one yesterday and I think I'm gonna do day two tomorrow. So yeah. And I actually started reading The Science of Getting Rich Again by Wallace D. Waddles. And it's so amazing like when you read a book you read already from an extended point of consciousness and you like pick up new messages and you look at the messages in the book so much differently it's just so amazing so yeah i'm reading it and i'm like oh my goodness i just feel this rush of excitement like yes my consciousness wanted me to read it again and i don't know if i told you this in my um the books i've read video but it is actually the book that Rhonda Bryne read before she created the secret it is the book that inspired her journey of enlightenment and consciousness and all the things like that and yeah i'm reading it again and it's pretty amazing yeah okay i think i'm gonna stop talking now so that i can get back to this beautiful view <laughs> i just wanted to do a quick update and check in but yeah i'm just going to savor this moment and and i'll probably do like a little quick like five minute meditation and get ready to start a new week with a clear refreshed mind so i will see you again next time so it's getting dark and it's so beautiful i came here at the right time <laughs> uh 
I'm just such a lover of like open bodies of water. It's so relaxing, so calming. My vibration just floats when I'm by natural water. Beautiful. It's so dark out there, but the dolphin just came up. Oh my goodness. It's such a beautiful experience. So I remember reading in Bashar's book that like dolphins aren't originally from Earth and whales are their oversoul, their higher selves.